15 clear signs that your phone was hacked. We often see our smartphones as our secured digital havens. We use them to keep our most personal information, from pictures to credit card details. Some people even save their passwords in notes. That's a bit too much, right? You probably have all your text and email communication, including work stuff, based or synchronized on your phone. If you think it is your private zone, you may be very wrong. So far, there is no such device that can't be hacked. To reduce the potential risks, we figured out three things. The ways your phone can be hacked, how to recognize them, and how to protect your phone from hackers. Let's start with the first important question and see how your phone can be hacked. The easiest way is by taking possession of your phone for a few minutes and installing spy apps, such as SpyPhone app, SpyZ, or SpyEra. These apps are basically mobile trackers that record the incoming and outgoing phone calls and text messages. They can track GPS location, online activity, and communication going on WhatsApp, Facebook, Viber, and Skype. Their creators say these apps can bring peace of mind to parents and help business people monitor their staff. If only it were just that. In reality, these apps are often used by those who don't care about the safety of others. Via an unprotected Wi-Fi network in a cafe or airport. Yes, it's that easy. We all love finding free Wi-Fi spots at airports and restaurants, especially when we travel. Have you ever used free Wi-Fi? Click thumbs up if you have. Well, with the means of public Wi-Fi, you share all your traffic with everyone around you. Think of it next time you want to check in somewhere exotic. It is worth waiting till you reach a more reliable network. When charging your phone via an unknown USB, even in an airplane or a car, there is a risk that all your data will be revealed and transferred. Different smartphones have different security features, so not all of them share the same amount of information when connected to a PC. But they can give away your device name and type, serial number, its manufacturer, operating and file system information, and electronic chip ID. That's a lot of information that can be used against you. SMS phishing. This happens when you receive a message with a link saying that it is, for example, your bank statement, a money transfer, or your photos. So you click it, download the file, and then reveal all your phone's contents to hackers. With the help of Signaling System 7, or SS7, used by the majority of telephone stations all over the world, hackers can read your text messages, listen to your phone calls, and track your cell phone locations. But if you're not a celebrity, there's nothing to worry about. You see, there are many ways hackers can mess with your phone. Now it is time to answer the question we all care about. How to recognize that your phone is hacked? Number 15. You find new apps on your phone and you did not install them yourself. Sometimes phone manufacturers and service providers can actually install new apps on your phone as you update it. But it is better to be safe than sorry, so you have to make sure the apps are legit. You can Google search them and see what other users, or better yet, reliable websites, say about the apps. If it was neither the manufacturer nor you who installed the app, it must have been hackers. Number 14. Some apps stop working like they used to. While new apps you never installed are doing just fine on your phone, your old apps are in trouble. Something is interfering with their proper functionality, and it is most likely some malware on your phone. Number 13. Your phone has suddenly started to run out of juice very quickly. If you noticed your phone's battery lifespan has become way too short, it must be for a reason. This can happen when there is an unknown app running on your phone. Such apps are in background mode without notice, so you don't even have to start them, but they still take away your phone's energy. Number 12. Your smartphone seems slower than it used to be. 
We often think slower operation speed is the reason of our phone's old age. In fact, just like shorter battery life, it can be caused by malware running in the background on your phone. Those bad apps transfer data from your phone, so its performance drops a lot. A smartphone is smart, but hackers are sometimes even smarter. Number 11. Your phone gets warm. Your phone gets warm even when you don't make a call or work with it. You're probably used to feeling the warm touch of your communication tool, and you might even like it, especially when it gets cold. But warming up for no reason is not a good sign. Again, it means there is an unknown app making your phone work so hard that it warms up. Number 10. Your phone reboots itself, switches off, dials numbers, or starts applications. You might like to believe self-rebooting or dialing numbers is the result of paranormal activity and you are about to call Ghostbusters. Sorry to tell you this, but if it's not a system breakdown, then it could be tapping. Number 9. Unknown phone numbers appear in your recent calls and it costs you. Hackers can proxy through your device to make expensive international phone calls. They can also use your infected device to make calls to companies which charge for them. Of course, they don't actually call overseas themselves. They offer this paid service to their customers, so they get profits. Number 8. Your phone is sending and receiving strange text messages. Just like unknown numbers in your recent calls, you can find text messages you did not actually send from your phone. It can also happen to your email if you are using it from your phone. If you don't notice it yourself, your friends or colleagues might tell you about it when they receive weird messages from you. Do not ignore it. Number 7. You cannot switch off your device. As you are trying to switch your device off, it starts opening different apps, increasing the lighting, and so on. It is very wrong and it is most likely not the manufacturer's fault. Number 6. There are noises or echoes during calls. If you hear noises or echo during calls and you haven't had them in this location before, it means someone else has access to your phone. They might be tracking your phone and listening to your conversation this very second. Number 5. Websites appear different than before in your mobile browser. It can be a sign that someone has installed malware on your phone. It can be reading your online communication and tracking your activities. It sits somewhere between your browser and the internet and stops the sites from displaying normally. Number 4. You noticed an increased use of mobile data. If you have a data monitoring app, you can sometimes see your mobile data usage growing way too fast. It can cost extra charges if you pay for a certain amount of traffic per month. And it is one of the signs your phone is not only used by you. You can also try finding detailed app traffic usage in your phone settings. It tells us exactly how much mobile data each of your apps is using. You recently installed that app from a new source and it is eating your data like crazy? That app could be malware. Delete it. Number 3. Pop-ups start appearing on your device out of nowhere. You probably see it a lot on your computer unless you have a good antivirus software. You are informed that you just won the lottery or a new iPhone. All you have to do is click one button and it's yours. Such pop-ups on your phone are likely produced by malware. Don't do what they are telling you to do. Number 2. Emails sent from your phone are blocked by spam filters. It can be a sign a third party is reading your emails. How? If they got control over your phone, they could have changed your email configuration to send all your mails via some unauthorized server. Hackers probably have direct access to that server. Number 1. You can't make calls or they're being dropped. If you experience calls being dropped, the inability to make calls at times when you appear to have good signal strength or strange noises occurring during your phone conversations, something may be amiss. Normally, these problems are indicative of technical issues unrelated to a breach, but that is not always the case. 
So, if you noticed these symptoms shortly after you took some action that you now regret, you may wish to consider whether you need to take corrective action. What should you do if you see any of these signs on your phone? Try running mobile anti-malware software. Delete all the apps you have not installed and unreliable apps eating too much traffic. If it is possible, you can also reset your phone and go back to its original settings. If that does not seem enough to you, consult a professional. We all know prevention is better than cure, so here is what you can do to protect your phone from being hacked. If you receive a message with a link and you cannot see the full URL, never open it. If you charge your phone via an unknown computer, when connected, choose only charging. Don't use the remember passwords function. Switch off the automatic connection to public Wi-Fi networks. Instead, choose them manually. One more thing about Wi-Fi networks. Avoid networks with suspicious names, such as free internet or Wi-Fi free. Choose those which are protected with a password, especially if you are somewhere like a cafe. Don't make online purchases or fund transfers on public Wi-Fi networks. If you use Android, install a reliable antivirus program. And of course, add a password to your phone. We hope you found this video 